to Cardano Developer and Governance Day, which is, as of this week, the first ever community-funded event, thanks to all of you. Thank you for coming. My name is Maggie Schmidt, also known as me, and on behalf of Rare Network, in collaboration with Owen, I'm pleased to hand it over to the one, the only, Charles Hoskinson to tee off the day. Hi, everybody. I wore my Vegas cat shirt. Not bad. Welcome to the unbelievably hot, unbelievably sunny Las Vegas. I think the all-time high was like 110 degrees. For you in Europe, that's over 40. It's smeltering out there, isn't it? Uh, you know, what's really cool is watching the governance of Cardano come together. Uh, you know, after the Constitutional Convention, we said there was going to be an enormous amount of drama, in case you haven't noticed. And the reason being was that in the Genesis Key era, there was all this disgruntlement you couldn't do anything about. So people just kind of stayed silent and got bitter. But then when the governance era opened up for the first time ever, instead of just complaining, you actually could like do stuff, uh, compete, all this other stuff. So it all came out on Twitter, and it all came out over social media, drama, 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 drama. But in the process of that, we witnessed over the last year the birth of a new government. Hundreds of D-reps, a fully community-elected constitutional committee, multiple members-based organizations, a ratified constitution, and now we're getting into the nuts and bolts of actually running that government. And what's really fun about it is that people are starting to come together. Now that we're on the other side, the drama's starting to askew a little bit. The grievances are starting to askew. Last two days, we had governance workshops. We brought people together from the CF to IO to all those D-reps that showed up. 38% of Cardano's voting power. You know what? 98% agreement. People are all sitting down writing problems and agreeing that these are problems we need to solve. Now, we may disagree on the solutions, but people agree on the problems, which is a massive first step forward. And now we're here on a dev day, and there's a lot of cool presentations to talk about a diverse set of technologies in the Cardano ecosystems. Folding schemes, Elixir on Cardano. I love Elixir, it's a great language. The legacy stuff, new stuff, it's pretty cool when you see all of it, and what's even more cool is it's being presented by a diverse constellation of independent companies. Instead of having one company with a lot of subcontractors out, we kicked a few out of the nest. They love us for it or hate us for it, but now what they're doing is they're growing and flying, and they're learning how to actually operate and work directly for the Cardano ecosystem. What's gonna happen over the next year or two is you're going to see dozens, eventually hundreds of companies whose employer of record is Cardano, the protocol. They work directly for the blockchain. It's a really cool concept when you think about that. It's as pure of an open source as you could ever get, because open source is always contaminated a little bit. Like Google does some open source. They're like, well, you know, they do the evil over there, but they pay for a full-time engineer. It's great. Now it's like, you know, work for the protocol. You're doing things for the protocol. And these events are so essential because in addition to being fun and hot and you get to hit some balls, you get to talk about what problems do you want to solve? Where do we want to go? And we're starting to get as an ecosystem into a cadence of every quarter bringing people together. So there's a Cardano Summit in Berlin. My hope is somehow, some way, some of you can convince the CF to do what's been done here and host governance workshops, just like the governance workshops they participated in here in Vegas. And then we have European workshops. And I'm gonna be in Japan with Sarah and the rest of the guys in October. And guess what? We're gonna host some workshops there. Same concept. Just bring people together, get people talking, get people getting to know each other, get people feeling like they're part of it and empowering them to actually make decisions to change things. We all recognize that there's some issues last year, like the budget process was pretty tough. It's hard to have a 2025 budget close in August. So next year, let's do better. Instead of complaining about it, we just brought people together. We talked about what worked well, what didn't work well, what were we missing to be able to make good decisions about that. So 2026, we can have a faster process. And in 2026, room like this will be like, oh, well, there were still issues with it. Was it great? 
Let's solve those issues. Let's put them together. That is the same for the technology. The age of node diversity is coming. We have growing multiple implementations of the Cardano node. And in the process of doing this, what it's exposing is a lot of design decisions that upon reflection perhaps could be enhanced or modernized or refined because technology moves, science moves, taste and flavor moves, developer accessibility concepts change. So this time next year, in beta, there's likely going to be a Go client, a Rust client, perhaps even a TypeScript client, and more on the way. No diversity, that's a beautiful thing. We have amazing scaling technologies starting to enter prime time. You know, you're gonna hear about Laos, for example, where it's starting to exit the prototype and SIP process, and they're starting to enter the conversation about how to actually get it done, how to actually get it into production. We've been talking about that damn thing for four years. You're gonna hear about Hydra. You know, the midnight airdrop is actually on Hydra. Those 33.4 million accounts that ended up surviving and coming through, and there's already, I think, almost 500 million or more night redeemed and 23,000 people just two days in, all those redemptions start on Hydra. So this is the first Hydra application on Cardano mainnet at a scale of tens of millions of users. And that technology is here today. And what, what, what are we going to do? We're going to take a step back and say, well, how do we continue the productization? And there's already a family of independent companies that want to take Hydra technology and become the lightning labs of Hydra. You've got learner labs, you've got other people. So when you come to Rare Evo, what's so exciting is you're going to see a vending machine, sneak peek, at my booth. It's a Hydra-powered vending machine. So how you spend in it is you take your phone and you go and get NFTs issued on Hydra from each of the booths, and that's the currency, and you can go and actually spend and buy stuff. And I wanted to be stocked with lots of cool stuff. There's laptops in there. There's Louis Vuitton purses in there. There's all kinds of crazy shit that's in there. So have some fun. You know, it's uh, everybody gets something. It's all the goodies. But what did that just prove? That Hydra now works at point of sale, ATM, and vending machines. Instant transactions, no fees. And Cardano has that technology, thanks to this ecosystem. <laughs> There's a lot more to do, there's a lot more to say, but you get the idea. Great progress is the product of iteration. It's not, the pro it's not some, like, you go off to the mountaintop, you come down with 10 commandments, you say, this is the world we live in now. Every overnight success has 10 years of iteration behind it. And when you look at Cardano, it started a long time ago in Japan. And there were a lot of people who believed in us when everybody shouldn't have. They thought we were completely insane and crazy, but they took a risk. And they enabled this ecosystem. They gave the lifeblood to it. They gave the support and patience to it for it to grow. And now it's very strong because our roots are so strong. We have a very powerful governance layer. We have self-determination. We have now the ability to go anywhere we want and the funding to go anywhere we want. There's 1.8 billion ADA sitting in that treasury. And as we keep upgrading and we keep investing and we keep building as an ecosystem, that's going to end up being worth billions of dollars. So another case in point we're going to talk about is how do we open that up and actually create a sovereign wealth fund for Cardano. So we actually start getting a yield from that enormous amount of money. Because if you start doing the math, you realize that dry powder could generate hundreds of millions of dollars of value per year if it's deployed correctly over time. And it could actually allow us to socialize and enjoy the success of the DAP ecosystem as well. These are what we talk about when we talk about executive function. Starting to think around who should be accountable for marketing, branding, and growth. Who should be accountable for treasury management? Who should be accountable for budget reconciliation? These types of things. We could do it completely on chain. We could do it a little bit off chain. That's what the last two days we're talking about. Wide variety of opinions. And the point isn't to solve the problem right here, right now. The point is to create the space for everybody to have that conversation and feel like what they say matters. Feel like their ideas matter. They turned it up a little bit. I guess everybody hears now. And that's what I wanted. I didn't want everybody to agree with me. I didn't want everybody to say IO is the only way. I just wanted to create something that everybody could take and make it their own. Cardano is special because it belongs to each and every person who uses it. 
doesn't belong to a company. There's no patent behind it. There's no intellectual property behind it. Hard Auto is not here to tell you what to do. It's here to enable what you want to do. And that's always been the dream and that's always been the magic. And the fact that you're all here, and you all come from a diverse background. Some of you love me, some of you hate me. Some of you I fired. <laughs> and you're still here, why? Because you're not here for me. You're here for the idea, you're here for Cardano, you're here for what it can create. It can allow us to update and modernize technologies that should have won. It can allow us to bank the unbanked. It can allow us to fundamentally transform commerce. It can allow us to actually change how lending works. It can allow us to change how open source software development works. It can allow us to reimagine the way treasury management works. It's a choose your own adventure and what you see is what you get. It's what you put in. It's for you. That's what Voltaire has been about, and this journey has been about for the last year. It's been a very difficult journey. We had to bring so many people together from more than 50 countries to get them to realize that they're actually in charge. And the fact that you're here is an honoring of that commitment. So it means the world to me. It really does. And it means the world to each and every person at Input Output at this conference. We have about 140 of our employees. It's the largest gathering since 2021 of input output. I just wanted them to come and interact with the community. And I wanted them to come and see all of you, talk to all of you, share ideas with you. You know, some will end up creating their own companies and some will end up following their passions. And that's okay. Because at the end of the day, those passions, if they have the right values behind them, will continue to grow this dream. If we play our cards right, with Bitcoin, DeFi, with things like Midnight, with the current investments in governance, continuing the technology growth, what will happen over the next three to five years is this ecosystem will grow to tens of millions of people. And if we build the right processes now, we'll be able to manage those tens of millions of people. We'll still meet quarterly. We'll have to have a bigger room, but we'll still meet quarterly. We'll still talk about problems. Think about how fast we've solved things. We've gone from Genesis Keys last year and no say to a fully elected community constitutional committee, DREPS, a constitution. And we're already talking about the next version of the constitution. That's one year. We have a budget, as painful as it was, it's there, it's closing. People are starting to get funding. Catalyst just got funded. This event just got funded. They did it at risk. Yeah, I know. And that's one year. And that's under a highly adversarial environment, highly fragmented environment with lots of emotions and drama and all these other things and no on-chain software and no gov tool and no treasury smart contract and any of those things. Well, we have it all now. So why can't we leverage that for the next year to be five times more productive than this one? We can. And if we keep growing at that rate, and we keep investing in governance like we are, there is no other ecosystem in the cryptocurrency space that has this. You can't do this with Bitcoin. You can't do this with Ethereum. You can't do this with Solana. When people say, why Cardano? It shouldn't be that we give them a table and it was check marks on it on our side and X's on their side. It should be something much more form fundamental. You have a say. It values you, it respects you, it protects your rights. Why Cardano? Because you matter. That's why. That's what makes Cardano special. And as long as we continue to invest in that principle and acknowledge the problems, acknowledge that nothing's perfect and keep pushing forward, then it will get there. We went from nothing to 4.3 million people in less than 10 years. We can go from 4.3 million to 100 million in the next 10 years. And we can go from where we're at today to running nation states tomorrow if we want to. That's why I'm looking at you, Argentina. We can get that done. They're ready for it. And the rest of it is up to you. So I hope to hear some great conversations today. There's going to be some wonderful things. Rare Evo is going to be a great event. There's more great events on the horizon. There's the Cardano Summit in Berlin. Many of you will be going to that, and I imagine it's going to be wonderful. I'll be in Japan in October, and we're going to have some wonderful events there. 
I'll be at Token 2049. We'll keep the flame going, and we got a lot of work to do, but we're all going to get it done. Thank you so much for coming. Cheers.